In this lesson, I'm going to talk about proving triangles congruent. Now, we've already discussed that to prove two triangles are, are congruent, we have to look at the three uh, sets of angles. They have to be congruent, and the three sets of sides have to be congruent. So you have six different sets of angles and sides that you'd have to prove are congruent in order to say that the triangles are actually congruent. Now, in this lesson, we're going to come up with what I refer to as the shortcuts or triangle congruence theorems. The first one is referred to as SSS, referring to you know that the three sets of sides of the two triangles are congruent. And if you know that, well, the triangles, yes, in fact, are going to be congruent. So I have my whole little if green is true, then red is true here, basically saying I have these three sides here congruent to these three sides here, and when I know that, then the two triangles are congruent. If you like the actual theorem word for word, it's down here at the bottom. Next one is referred to as SAS, standing for side, angle, side. And in this case, you have two sides in one triangle congruent to two sides in another triangle, and you have the included angle. There's that vocab of what it means uh, to be the included angle. Those two angles are congruent. And if that's the case, the two triangles are going to be congruent. Next one is the ASA. Again, we have two angles that are congruent in the two triangles and the included side. Notice that it's the included side. If that happens, the two triangles are going to be congruent using the ASA theorem. The next one is referred to AAS or SAA. I don't care which order you put it in. Now in this one, just like the last one, we have the two triangles having two angles congruent to two angles and then we have a side. This one you have to be careful on because that side has to be opposite the same angle in both triangles, or referred to as the corresponding angle. Notice in my picture, my single tick is opposite my single arc, single tip, tick opposite my single arc, and if I know all that information, I'll have everything I need to know to say that the two triangles are congruent. The last one we'll look at is referred to as the HL theorem. Now this only works for right triangles. The previous four theorems worked for any triangle, but this theorem only works for right triangles. Notice, right angle, right angle, I have the two right triangles. And then the H stands for the hypotenuse, which means my two hypotenuses are congruent, and the L stands for one of the legs. Leg and leg are congruent. If you know that much information, that's going to be all you need to know to say that the two triangles are congruent. Now remember, this one only works for right triangles. And when I think of this, I still have three pieces of information. One angle, two sides, one angle, two sides. Just like the previous four had three pieces of information, it's just, this one's just referred to as HL because it only works in a right triangle, therefore you have to have a right angle in each triangle. And that's going to conclude just the lesson part of proving triangles congruent.